Hi friends! Today's video I'm going to be talking about my reading plans for August. So in July things went a little bit off track in terms of what I had initially been planning to do, partly because we went on vacation for nine days and while I did do some reading on vacation I didn't do a ton and so I have quite a number of neck alley books that I'm going to be rolling over into my August TBR. I will probably be able to finish a couple more of them before the end of the month, but a decent number are going to be rolled over into August. They are August releases. I like to be more ahead of the game, but you know, the, the, it is what it is. Hopefully I can catch up later in the year. So because of that, I didn't want to overburden my TBR. I have a lot of books already for book clubs and I have a secret TBR vlog project that's going to be coming in August as well. All of that to say, you're going to see maybe some fewer books than you typically would. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started on the books that are officially going on my TBR, beginning with my Patreon book club pick. Every month we read a different genre and patrons get to vote on which book we read together. For the month of August, we're reading a sci-fi book and the one that got voted on was Rebel by Marie Lu. I'm excited to finally pick this up. I really enjoy Marie Lu's writing. She is a YA author who writes a lot of sci-fi, some fantasy. This book in particular is interesting because it's set in the legend universe. Her debut series, the legend series, was kind of a sci-fi dystopian series and this book can be read as a standalone without having read the earlier books but it also wraps up that story apparently with some cameos from the main character in that series. I did read that series quite a while ago. Some of my patrons have, some haven't, but it's great because anybody can jump in. So I'm looking forward to it. We will be reading this one in August and discussing at the end of the month. Every month my patrons are also entered into a raffle and the winner gets to pick a book from my TBR that they wanna see me read and review in the coming month. For August, the winner was Susanna and the book that she chose for me to read was Middlemarch by George Eliot which I'm actually very excited about because this is also on my classics TBR for the year. I really wanted to read this and it's such a tome that I've been putting it off even though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. So I'm very very pleased to have a reason to go forth and pick it up. So I'm gonna be reading Middle March and August. Then for the Blades and Bodice Herbers book club, which I co-host along with my friends Mara from Books Like Whoa, Amanda from The Naughty Librarian, and Leanna from Leanna's Library. The book club pick for this month was The Unbroken by Seal Clark. This was actually actually my pick so the live show for this is going to be on my channel the last Saturday of the month at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm really excited about this. I know Angela from the Literature Science Alliance really loved it and I, I have high hopes. It is a bit of a tome but I'm thinking it's going to be great. It's a debut fantasy novel that is queer and I think more military and politically driven which should be interesting. I want to say part of it deals with child soldiers and I think it's North African inspired but yeah, Angela really loved it. I'm excited to read it. So we will be reading this if you want to join us and discussing at the end of the month. Then for the last six months, I've been doing the Indigenous Romance Read Along hosted along with Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter and August is our very last month. So I hope you guys will join us. This is going to be a fun one because it's a paranormal romance. We are going to be reading Abandon by Winika Fazekas. She is an Aboriginal author from Australia and uh, this one has like shifters. It's, it's an indie published paranormal romance. I think it's going to be a good time. So if you want to join us, we will be reading it and discussing it the last Thursday of August and that will wrap up our six months of reading romances by Indigenous authors. And the final book for read-alongs is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. This is the final book in the Farseer trilogy. We'll be talking about this the last Friday of the month. I'm very excited for it. It is a tome. Um, I will probably also be getting this one on audio. Then just a couple of other physical books I'm putting on my TBR for this month. The first one is this. It's called Real by Carol Carol Kujek and Peyton Goddard. This is actually going to be for a video I'm doing in collaboration with Shadow Mountain Publishing, but I really wanted to read the book before doing the video that will be coming this month. It sounds really interesting. It's a middle grade book inspired by a true story about a girl with autism who is nonverbal. It sounds really amazing. I'm looking forward to reading it and I think books like this are really important, so I'm going to be reading this this month. Lastly for the physical books, I have an arc that was sent to me from Tor.com that I just really have been wanting to read and I think it's going to be a quick read. This comes out in October. It's called A Spindle Splintered by Alexi e. Harrow. It's a feminist reimagining of Sleeping Beauty, which I'm very excited for and it's illustrated, which I like I'm super excited about. I it's a little novella and with the illustrations, I feel like I honestly I probably could read this in like an hour. It's not very long, but I really liked Alexi e. Hero's first book and I'm looking forward to this. I'm planning on picking that one up this month as well. 
Also, because I don't think we're going to finish it in July, I'm going to be continuing my buddy read of Black Reconstruction in America by W.E.B. Du Bois with Jess Owens. We have started reading it. It's really good and really interesting, but I kind of took a break while I was on vacation. So we're going to continue on with this. It's like 700 pages long, so I think we'll probably finish this one up in August. And then basically there's going to be a lot of playing catch up with ERX from Neck Alley that I did not get to in July. These are all August releases, so I'm going to briefly run through what they are. You probably saw them on my previous TBR. Maybe I'll also get to some of my September releases. We will see how that goes. But the books that I still need to read include The Sisters of Reckoning by Charlotte Nicole Davis, which is the sequel to a YA duology. A lot of these are sequels to YA. <laughs> a lot of these are sequels to YA duologies. This one is a fantasy western with queer relationships and a girl gang. I'm looking forward to it. I also still need to read Casadora by Romina Garber, Redemptor by Jordan e. Fuego, Mark of the Wicked, which is YA horror. It's a lot of YA stuff. All of these so far have been YA. Requiem of Silence, Living Beyond Borders. This is a short story collection. I may get to a couple of these before the end of the month. We will see, but like, don't be shocked to see them, see me reading them in August, hopefully before release date or close to release date. Devil in the Device, which I'm very excited about. The Godstone, and My Heart is a Chainsaw. Did I overdo it on the August releases? Like, was everything coming out in August? Yes, possibly. <laughs> and then I went on vacation and did not read nearly as much as I had intended to. Um, I will briefly run through the September releases that I have from NetGalley. There are not as many of them, so I may get to some of these. I have The Girls Are Never Gone by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I love Sarah Glenn Marsh. This one is a sapphic YA horror. I'm really excited to read it. I think her books are really underappreciated, so I think this is going to be great. Then I have Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. It's a debut YA fantasy that looks really interesting. It's a darker story about a girl who's indentured to the night zoo, which has like magical creatures. It sounds like it's going to be really interesting, so I'm looking forward to that. I also have The Matzah Ball by Jean Meltzer. This is an adult contemporary romance with Jewish characters which I think is kind of cool so I wanted to give this a try. I've got Some Far Away Place by Lauren Shippen. This is I guess book three in the Bright Sessions series so I must have missed book two. I read the first book in this and really enjoyed it. It's about a therapist who works with kids with superpowers and I, I don't know specifically what this one is about but I really enjoyed the first book in the series so I have that. Then very very much looking forward to The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina by Zoraida Cordova. This is her first adult fiction novel that's not romance. She writes some romance under a pen name but uh, this is her first adult fantasy title and I'm very very excited for it. It looks amazing, early reviews look great and I generally just think her writing is really good and really consistent. Also the cover is gorgeous. Two more and again some of these will get pushed to September but I've got Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I love his writing. I don't really even know what this is about but I think the cover is beautiful. I know it's queer and it's probably going to be great. Lastly is The Hollow Heart by Marie Rutkowski. This is the second book in a duology. I loved the first book in this duology and I feel like not a lot of people did or at least not a lot of people talk about it but I thought it was amazing and I kind of wish because I read it quite early and uh, I think because of that wasn't hyping it as much in the year that it came out which I sort of now regret but I'm very excited to see how this duology is gonna wrap up. Okay I'm gonna add one more physical book to my TBR because I just heard from Leanna that she is down for doing a buddy read of this in August. We're gonna be reading The Drawing of the Three which is the second Dark Tower book. We read The Gunslinger in July and both like didn't necessarily love The Gunslinger as a book but are intrigued to see if the series gets better so we're gonna at least read book two and we'll see how it goes. I think the premise is interesting and I hear that it gets better in this book. So whew, there you go. Those are the books that I am planning to read in the month of September. There will probably be some changes to this but you can for sure count on all of the book club picks that I'm reading. I'll definitely be getting to those. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, tell me something about how your reading is going. Have you been getting to the books that you hope to get to? Are you also, like me, falling behind schedule? It's fine. Like, th this is what happens. At the end of the day, it's not a huge deal and I'll get caught up, but let me know in the comments down below how your reading plans are going. If you even plan, maybe you're not a big planner. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps us out. Subscribe if you want to see more and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.